Hello and welcome to the channel. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, yesterday told the court it made no mistake in declaring Bola Ahmed Sinyubu of the Hull Progressives Congress, APC, winner of the presidential election held in February. Reactions have continued to trail the election on the subsequent declaration that followed. But INEC claimed they did no wrong after complying with laid-down rules set aside in pronouncing Tinubu winner. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Tinubu won presidential poll. I tells tribunal. The Independent National Electoral Commission has asked the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal in Abuja to dismiss all the petitions challenging the declaration of Bola Tinubu of the Hull Progressives Congress as the winner of the February 25th presidential election. INEC had declared that Tinubu polled 8,794,726 votes to win the election. The Commission declared that the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, came second with 6,984,520 votes, while it announced Labour Party's Peter Obi as the second runner-up with 6,101,533 votes. But Atiku or B and some other parties rejected the results announced by INEC and added for the tribunal with prayers that the election should be nullified. All the opposition parties challenging Tinubu's victory joined INEC as a co-defendant. In its defense that the various petitions fell through its team of lawyers led by A. B. Mahmoud San, INEC described Atiku's petition as grossly incompetent vague and academic, saying it was an abuse of the court process. INEC affirmed that having scored at least one quarter of the valid votes cast in 29 states, which is over and above the 24 states threshold required by the Constitution in addition to scoring the highest number of the lawful votes cast at the election, Tinubu was properly declared winner and returned as the president-elect. On the issue of Tinubu not winning the FCT, INEC argued that going by the provisions of the 1999 Constitution, the FCT has the status of a state and ought to be recognized as one of the states of the Federation. INEC insisted that it declared Tinubu as winner of the election, considering that it scored highest valid votes cast at the election on at least 25% of the votes cast in not less than two-thirds of the states of the Federation on the federal capital territory, Abuja. The first respondent pleads and shall at the trial of this suit rely on all the electoral forms including but not limited to forms ECSA, BCSB, ECSC, ECSD, and ECBE used in the course of the presidential election held on the 25th day of February 2023, INEC said. The FCT Beyond being the capital of Nigeria has no special status over and above the other 36 states of the Federation to require a candidate in the presidential election to obtain at least 25% of the votes cast in the FCT before being declared winner of the presidential election. The first respondent shall also contend at the trial of the suit that the FCT is regarded as the 37th state of the Federation and as such, a candidate needs to score 25% of the valid votes cast in at least two-thirds of 37 states to be declared as winner in the presidential election. The first respondent avers that the second respondent scored 25% of the valid vote in 29 states of the Federation, as stated above. Addressing Atiku's petition, INEC told the tribunal that the PDP candidate could not have been declared winner as he failed to score at least one quarter of the votes cast in at least two thirds of the 36 states of the federation. INEC also insisted that the election was conducted in substantial compliance with the Electoral Act. The first respondent further averts that in compliance with extant laws and regulations, 
It diligently discharged its duties when it collated the first petitioner's calls at the election, which aggregates to 6,984,520, winning only 21 number of states to wait Adamawa, Akwahibom, Baoshi, Bono, Delta, Ekiti, Gombe, Jigawa, Kaduna, Katsina, Kebi, Kogi, Nasarawa, Nainja, Oshun, Sokoto, Taraba, Yobe, and Zamfara. The first respondent averse that the petitioners who on the one hand alleged various irregularities or non-compliance in the conduct of the election conveniently accepted the validity of their scores as declared by the first respondent upon which they have prayed that the first petitioner be returned the winner of the election and sworn in as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, having purportedly scored the majority of votes cast. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. The electoral body said that it kept its promise to Nigerians in conducting free fair, transparent, and credible elections by deploying the Beaver's device in conducting accreditation of voters electronically and uploading scanned copies of polling unit election results to the IREF portal. INEC also asserted that uploading election results to the IREF portal is not a condition precedent to the declaration of the winner of an election under the Electoral Act. The Act does not require the first respondent to transmit results to the IREF portal before determining or declaring the winner of the presidential election. The first respondent states further that it had all the physical art copies of the result sheets from which it collated and tabulated the scores of the candidates. It states further that the result sheets were uploaded via its e-transmission system to the IREF portal. In further answer... To paragraph 21 of the petition, the first respondent states that the Beaver's device was, despite the glitches experienced on the day of the presidential election, still a game changer. It was properly deployed and used to verify and accredit registered voters. It was also used to upload scanned copies of polling unit results through the e-transmission system to the IREF portal in the presidential election held on 25th February 2023. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.